Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to email photos from iPhoto 11. So iPhoto 11 has some great new emailing features. Let's look at them and let's look at also how to just simply email a photo. So in iPhoto 11, to email a photo, you simply select that photo and then select share and email. Alternatively, you could select share and email from up here in the menu. When you do that, you get a browser here to the right to select a style to share. So you see a sample over here and you can switch between these and select one. Some of these accept more than one photo. For instance, this one says try this theme with four photos. You get to put a two email address and a subject and also the account you're sending it from. So you don't have to actually go into Apple Mail to send email from iPhoto. You can do it all within iPhoto. It also shows you at the bottom the approximate message size and you get to choose whether to attach the photos. You see it's going to compress this and put this inside of this frame here for a nice looking email. But if you attach the photos then the person receiving it will also receive the raw photo itself so that they could perhaps put it into their iPhoto collection. Turn that off and you can see that the message size goes way down. If you have it on you can select the photo size, uh, optimized or actual size and that's the one it will attach. So now that iPhoto is its own email client you should know how to set things up. It will automatically take your email accounts if you use Apple Mail but if not you can go into the account section of the preferences and you can add accounts here. It will actually allow you to create uh, a new email account just like this was a mail client. You can add one say a mobile me uh, or regular email account there. You can also in accounts add Facebook and Flickr accounts that can be used for sharing to Facebook and Flickr. And these are the accounts that will be used to send email. So you have to include all of the data for your email server such as the POP or IMAP password and SMTP password as well. So what if you just want to send a plain photo. You don't want to have all that extra theme stuff. Well you can still do that using just drag and drop. Go into Apple Mail here and create a new message. Now go into iPhoto, select a photo, any one, and simply drag it and drop it into the email message. You can see the plus symbol created there. When you do that you see you've got that in your email message and you actually see at the bottom of mail you can determine the in image size, actual, small, medium, or large. So you can customize it like that and just send a simple email with a simple photo attached. If you're using something else for email like say an online web based email like Gmail you can basically export the photo by simply dragging and dropping it onto the desktop. And now you can see I've got that JPEG there and I can attach that to a photo using any email system. Likewise I could also select uh, file and then export and export the photo that's selected in a variety of different formats. So for instance I can just do regular file export JPEG, pick the quality or just set it there to low and select a different size as well. And that way I can get a small image that I can attach to an email. So there's a look at three different ways to email photos from iPhoto 11. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more videos? Just go to the MacMost.com website, click on the videos link at the top and then you could browse all of the Mac, iPhone, and iPad videos by category.